hello everyone and welcome back to Arid graphics in this tutorial we're going to be creating this nice ball bouncing animation in adobe after effects so without wasting any more time let's just get right into it i have my after effects opened up so i'm going to create a new composition and then i'm just going to name this bouncing ball and then i'm going with the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second and i'm just going to use um, three seconds so uh, let's just let's use four and then click ok set your background and then click ok so um first thing we need to do is create the platforms and the ball you know draw the shapes so i'm just going to come here draw the platforms first uh, my field is in white. I'm going to change it later. I just want to draw this first Yes, so I'm going to switch back. Okay, just change the color. I have my colors right here So I'm just going to copy and paste this So the first issue we have with this rectangle is that the anchor point is in is at the center of the composition I want it to be at the center of the rectangle. So I'm going to click Y on my keyboard and then bring it down and press control to snap it to the center i want it at the center so we have it here so i'm going to switch back to the selection tool i want this rectangle to have a kind of rounded corner so i'm going to come down here open the rectangle and then open rectangle parts and then go to roundness and then if you look at it you will see that as we increase the roundness the roundness increases so I'm just going to leave this at this and I'm going to close this change back to feet 100 so I want to duplicate this before I do that I want to rename this layer to platform 1 so I just right click press enter and then I'll press rename or press enter on your keyboard and then change it to platform 1 so I want to duplicate this so I'll just press ctrl D on my keyboard and then I have a duplicate on the same layer so I'm just going to press shift click and drag to separate them and I want it right here I think this space is kind of cool yeah so I'm bringing my ball yes yeah, so I'm just going to come back to the shape tool and then go to ellipse tool and draw a rect a circle so to draw a perfect circle I'm just going to hold shift and then click and drag I don't want the same uh, them to be the same color so I'm just going to come to the fill and change the color to white and we also have the anchor point of this shape at the center of the composition no we want it at the center of the shape so I'm going to click on Y and then drag this down press shape control to snap it to the center so once I have that switch back to my selection tool and then just drag it down like so so we have our ball and our platform so we need to create a motion part we want the ball to bounce like from here to here and then back so we need to create the motion part so we come to the ball I'll change the name to ball and then we press P on your keyboard to open up the position and then at the first frame you create a keyframe and then you move forward in time to let's say one second and then you drag the ball on a straight line old shift for it to be on a straight line old shift and then click and drag you drop it on the second platform and then go to two seconds and then drag it forward also just for now we're going to move to the next step and then once you have that you've created a motion part for the ball but we want the ball to go up and down so we need to like edit the motion but right now we have our you know our anchors right now but we want to be able to independently edit each of these anchors each of them so all we need to do i'm going to control this control z that all we need to do is select all keyframes, um, right click on them, 
and then on one of them and then go to keyframe interpolation you go to spatial interpolation and then change it to busy busy means you know it breaks it into two so we can edit each of them independently so i'm going to edit to create the part i want for the ball now so like so you see i can edit this now independently so create it like so and then drag this up like so also then drag this up so i want the ball to come back here so i'm going to bring this back here so click out and then select the ball again and then carry it back to this and center it in the middle and then you can now edit the part again yeah. so just do this till you're satisfied with the motion part till you're satisfied with the motion part once you're satisfied you know we already created the motion part so i'm going to trim this um timeline right here i'm going to press n on this point so it's going to trim it so if you look at our animation this is what we have currently we already have our motion part but this is not how i want it to move you know we need to add some physics to it the way it's going to move in real life so what i need to do is select all keyframes right click and then go to keyframe assistant and then go to easy ease once you do that, you come to edit speed graph. And then we are going to inverse. You see the way the graph is. We're going to inverse this graph. You know, for instead of coming down, we're going to take it up. So before we do that, we have to this part is broken. So we have to make sure they are together. So we select them, both of them, right click, no select both of them make sure you right click on the keyframes go to keyframe interpolation and go to temporal interpolation here you go and change it to continuous basic and then click ok once you do that select them again and then drag them up drag them up you come here you drag it up also we are inverting Let's leave it at this point here, drag it up also. So what we are doing is we are creating an inverse of the movement just to give it a, a sweet animation and uh, I'm going to bring this up too. Be careful once you're dragging up that this um, point does not come down to zero. So if you check our animation, now this is what we have you know slow movement to the top and then fast to down this looks more realistic so i'm going to switch back to the timeline so now we have our ball animation so we need to animate our platform you know to create that bounce effect when it lands on them so we're going to go to platform 2 and then open position this is where the ball lands on platform 2 we're going to separate the the key the the positions the so we're going to right click on the position and then go to separate dimension yeah we're going to separate dimensions because the platform is just going to be moving up and down so we don't need the x direction so click on y we create a keyframe right here at the point where the ball lands create a keyframe and then you go one frame forward you drag it you bring it down a bit old shift to make sure it's on a straight line and then go one frame forward again and then you take it up and then you go one frame forward again and then you take it back to the initial position i didn't take note of the dimension of the initial position so i'm not going to check this platform one to see okay it's seven to six so i'm just going to type it in here because they were on a straight line when we created them seven to six so back to the initial position so after doing that all you need to do is select all these keyframes 
and you know check them and then take them back one frame make sure the second keyframe is in line with when um, the ball lands so if you check this animation this is what you have you see that nice bounce um, effect on the platform so we're going to drop this on the second platform also we've done for this we need to do for this so before we do that we'll come to platform one open position p on your keyboard and then we're going to separate this um, dimension also so you right click and then go to separate dimensions so we have our x and y dimension so we just drop them we copy this keyframe Control c select all the keyframes and Control c to copy and bring this to the first um to the first frame and then you select the key um, select the platform select the y position listen you come to the first frame where the platform started you select the platform and then select the y position because that's what we are copying so you copy this select the y position and you drop it there Control v but for the animation to be complete if you look at it we don't have a good animation right now so for the animation to be perfect you just select all the keyframes and shift it one the way you did the other the first one so um if you check this animation you see we have a perfect animation right now created this bounce effect on your platform and created the um, ball bouncing effect so but this animation is not complete we have one last thing we need to do it's not re looking really realistic we need the motion blur we need the motion blur to give it that nice realistic animation so we, we first activate our motion blur here and then we activate it here also so you click and then you drag down so we have that motion blur and you can see the the animation is now complete we have this nice bouncing text um bouncing ball animation so if you enjoyed this tutorial kindly drop a like and um, subscribe for more adobe after effects and other graphic design tutorials like this so um, this, that's it for this video, I'll see you in the next one.